hats off for Modi and Shah for bringing up this and uniting the whole nation. Where everybody used to think Hindu, Muslim. Now everybody has come out united, saying roll back the bill as this bill is anti-democratic, anti-constitutional. The inspiration is yeah, it is from Shine Bark. We are inspired by Shine Bark. Already more than 50 Shine Barks have been created. Bangalore also will be creating a Shine Bark. Not one as many as we can. They are into a lot of differences with both of them itself. Their own comments, their own statements differ. Where Modi says something and Shah says something. So they don't know what actually they are going to be implementing. They are by themselves as confused. So the only message we will conclude is they will surely roll back this. Why? Because the protest happening is not any ordinary protest. It is the youth coming out. It is the women coming out. It is the men coming out. It is the Adivasis coming out. It is the Faidas coming out. It is the Dalits coming out. Everybody is on the roads. Everybody wants peace. Everybody wants economy to go up. Everybody wants jobs. Peaceful education. Don't you think you being a citizen of India by yourself, this bill is going to affect you as well. We are going to be burdened with lot of proof which we cannot prove. So this will be taken back and will be surely done. To replicate what is uh, Shaheen Bagh uh, protests that are going on, uh, we had a um, uh, lot of uh, hope pinned on uh, the Supreme Court. In this verdict, it will give at least a stay on uh, the black laws of CAA, but the Supreme Court has not done anything like that. There are protests there throughout the country. The state governments also are saying that they will not implement in their, country, in their state. And uh, in Kerala state, there is one section, uh, 131 also been uh, imposed and uh, people are, the, they have approached the Supreme Court under that section. Uh, with so much of uh, voices of protest, the government is not willing to nail down and withdraw this uh, black laws, which we think is very undemocratic and unconstitutional. This is, uh, these laws are anti-constitutional, they are divisive and discriminatory. They are saying that uh, the people coming from these three countries, that is Pakistan, Bangladesh and Afghanistan, if they are refugees from and they are belong to Hindus, Christians, Sikh, Buddha and Jain, they will get citizenship, but Muslims are not giving that citizenship. Uh, we think uh, it is discriminatory because our, our country is a socialist democratic republic and uh, our uh, citizens are not based on uh, any religion. Uh, but this kind of a discriminatory law, Tandidare, which uh, is very wrong, Gatta. people are out here on the road protesting, women are out, their children are there, in this cold they are protesting. I had been to Delhi, uh, Shaheen Bagh also, I had been to Ghantagar in Lucknow also. Alayla protest act there in, uh, and uh, with so much of protest the government should have yielded but it has not, which we think is very undemocratic. And the NPR also that they are bring, trying to bring in, which we think is a first step towards NRC. And the questions that have been asked in the NPR is very different from the NPR that happened in 2010. Only they are asking too many questions like the details of uh, the parents, where they are born, when they are born. So we think that uh, they are paying way to make a, a kind of a state wherein it will not no more be a secular democratic uh, country but will head towards being a Hindu state which we think is very wrong that will happen to our country. Everybody, Hindus, Sikh, Christian, Muslims, all of them have fought for the freedom of this country and we want uh, our country to be in the nature, the pluralistic nature of this country to be upheld, the constitution of this country to be upheld. That is being uh, attacked now. So we are all, all here protest against this. So it's uh, very heartening to see that all the protests that have been happening are being led by women and it was amazing last night because the number of women that had turned out and we were here till very late in the night uh, because we couldn't stay here all through the night but through the night to have women come out and reclaim public spaces and see the freedom with which they were actually doing it, the confidence with which 
women are sloganeering, are coming out of their houses. People who've not come out of their houses ever are coming out with their children. And it's great that the children are also part of this because their future is going to be very different now. And they need to come out and see that their mothers, their sisters are doing something like this. And it's been really heartening in that sense. Our job as citizens right now is to come out on the streets and talk about things. What people are saying and what they are doing is not what should concern us right now. We should be fighting for the cause that we've come to fight for. They will be doing cheap tactics because they're getting threatened by things. That is not our problem. What we want to do right now is come out, come out in large numbers and continue with the protests that we are doing. That is basically what people sitting at home should come out, join, strengthen us with numbers and just be out there, see what is happening. Don't go by all these rumors of violence at protests and things because they are all rumors. It is all very peaceful. It's been organized really well. Please come see. See what is happening. See what is being said. Understand it. See the other side of the story which is really important as well. The central government is central government. The government is Jana. The ministers are the ones who 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 are the हेच्चिन वीडियो गलिगे प्रतिध्वनी यूट्यूब चैनल सब्सक्राइब माड़ी बेल आइकॉन क्लिक माड़ी